We finna talk about Thanksgiving today. Gobble, gobble, bitch. Hit it. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's your favorite friend, the blonde Richie. And I am back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Don't forget to take off your shoes. I got snacks and drinks waiting for you. And today, we are going to do our nighttime routine, get this skin together. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be talking about how I spent my very first Thanksgiving without my family. <laughs> so let's get into it. So before I get into talking about my Thanksgiving, how was y'all Thanksgiving? Please let me know how everything went in the comments. Y'all know I respond to everybody. So I'm really interested in how your, how your Thanksgiving went. My Thanksgiving went really, really good. It was amazing actually. Probably one of the best I've had in a long time. So before I get into talking about my Thanksgiving, let's go ahead and start working on the skin. I've already washed my face. And today I wash with Shea Moisture eczema and therapy soap and then i toned with my regular toner that you guys see me with with the apple cider vinegar and witch hazel toner and now we're going to get into get into the gristle of getting this skin done so you guys my thanksgiving was really really good i must say and for me this thanksgiving was really really strange because thanksgiving a is or was is was my favorite holiday i've always look forward to thanksgiving so i usually spent my thanksgiving between my two families my mom family and my dad family i would wake up really early in the morning and then i would go around my grandma house probably like around eight o'clock in the morning but like between eight and ten and i would chill out with her for the whole day and she usually started dinner around two o'clock so everybody else would pour in around 1 30 I would eat dinner with them and chill with them till about 4, 30, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And then my mom would come pick me up from my grandma's house and we would head on over to her family house, which we usually was at her sister's house, my aunt. And I used to love it until I got older. These last couple of Thanksgivings and holidays just been really tough for me with my mother's family well first of all let me say this thanksgiving with my grandmother's family has completely stopped when she passed away that was it <laughs> we didn't even do a memorial thanksgiving the year after she passed away we didn't even do a memorial thanksgiving it was just like done but the thing is with that is we expected that we always used to talk about it when we was kids like yeah you know once grandma died this is done I mean, that was just the energy of the family. It just, we just wasn't as close as families usually are. Um, so, we yeah. already knew. <sighs> the last couple of Thanksgivings with my mother's side has just been really difficult for me. Um, especially last Thanksgiving, which I didn't, I didn't make a full video about it, but this, if you see a video around Thanksgiving time from last year, I told you how horrible my Thanksgiving was. So I made the executive decision because I am the executive of my life. I am the CEO of my life. I decided not to spend Thanksgiving with them this year. And what I was rubbing my face with is this Pacifica Glow Baby Brightening Pill Pads with 10% AHH plus BHH. It's like a... um exfoliant it's an exfoliant pad you know to get that dead skin off and help renew and refresh the the new skin so the next thing i'm going to be applying to my physics is you know my favorite product that fenty skin fat water i love this love 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 if i had to pick any skincare product just one it will be this. I don't know for some reason. It's just it just really does wonders to, to my face. So yeah, last year was just a really bad Thanksgiving. So I decided not to go this year. I really thought that I was going to be sad. Or just like doing the Thanksgiving 
wondering like, oh, what is everyone doing? Or just like really missing everybody. And the crazy thing is, it was none of that. It was none of that. I didn't miss anybody. I didn't think about nobody. I wasn't wondering what they was doing. I wasn't wondering if they was talking about me behind my back. I did none of that. I was just like, I was really, really ch chilling. And this was absolutely one of the best Thanksgivings that I ever had. I was able to just uh, lay around in the bed all day until I decided I wanted to cook. I still cooked a full meal for me and my family, um, my mom and my uncle. Um, and I started cooking at two o'clock in the afternoon because <laughs> I know my mom, she had to work that day. So, um, yeah, I started cooking at two o'clock in the afternoon. I was cooking. I was watching television. Go ahead and spray my face with some rose water because I'm about to apply some hyaluronic acid to my face. And we all know that hyaluronic acid works best on, um, skin that's already moist. So I'm just going to add some rose water onto my face. Just, I really was chilling and I was having a good time with myself and I would have never thought that that would be me because so much of myself and so much of my identity for the longest time has been wrapped around my relatives and being a part of this family that I really thought that I was going to lose it but I didn't. I had a good time. I spent time with myself. I did the things that I wanted to do. The thing that was super beautiful, super, super beautiful, is this year I did not stress. I did not have anxiety. I didn't have rage. I wasn't pissy drunk because, to be honest with you guys, like a lot of the time, in order for me to be around my family, my relatives, as a collective, I had to have alcohol in my system or I would not have been able to function because usually I just have like a lot of pent up anger inside of me <laughs> um, towards them specifically. So I didn't even drink on Thanksgiving. So I didn't have to worry about, so like I said, I wasn't stressed, I wasn't anxious, I wasn't drunk, I wasn't really worried about anything. I wasn't worried about what family member Am I going to argue with this year? What family member, significant other is going to mean muck me? Because it happens every single time. Every single year, somebody, boyfriend or girlfriend, just have an issue with me for whatever reason. Just because I exist. Because I exist. Um, so we applied the hyaluronic acid to our face. So now I'm going to um, add the collagen. And you know I got to have my collagen. Got to have my collagen. Kabam. Boom. Peel. Peel, peel. That collagen. That collagen. So, yeah, I didn't have to worry about who significant other I was going to have, like, low-key issues with. I didn't have to worry about people bringing friends over that we never met and just how how we was going to blend in with them i didn't have to worry about i just didn't have to worry about none of that stuff and it just felt good the only person i had to deal with is myself and i was fine with that <laughs> i was fine with that and the crazy thing about it is that i got invited to so many people house on um thanksgiving and like i got a lot of invitations at this watermelon serum now It really just like confirmed that how I love them. I don't need them in my life for me to live the life that I want. Granted, before I included so much of them in my life and I wanted I wanted to have the unit as the main characters of my life, but then I slowly realized that that was just not gonna happen. Um, just through uh, like a lot of events and and just things that I just recognized in people, I'm like, this is not going to happen. Which is it's partially my fault because it's it was my fantasy. It was my fantasy of my family, and I cannot create, I cannot expect them to live up to my fantasy. They only can be themselves, right? So honestly, that was my fault. 
but it was just proof like I can go at this alone. I can find people along the way in my journey that will edify me and uplift me and help me become the person that I want to be. And I can still have them in my life if I choose, but the relationship... (laughs) The relationship is going to be a little bit different now. Um, Oh, this is a multi... This is a multivitamin serum from Global Beauty Care. I actually got this from the dollar store, y'all. And the reason why I picked it up because the ingredient list look lit. Like it really, the ingredient list look really lit. So let's hope that this works. I can reconstruct my relationship with my family and not be so dependent on them and not have to have the absolute need to be with them, be around them, have them as the main characters in my social life because I just remember the years like I would rush over there for Thanksgiving rush over there for Thanksgiving just to leave out there pissed because something done happen with somebody <laughs> and I said that you know what I'm not putting myself through that anymore it's not worth it it's not fun and I deserve better than that now mind you I'm not saying that um, I'm like a victim because I'm not like I'm very much not the victim I'm very much can stand up for myself I very much can sometimes instigate an issue because I feel some kind of way um, but if I don't have to put myself in a situation to where I'm not comfortable or where I don't feel like I can be my best self then I'm not going to do that I'm not going to be there and that's all I really that's all I really want for my life right now is just the opportunity to be my best self at all times. And I feel like you guys get an opportunity to see my best self. You know, like you're my friends, but you're my friends I've never met. You're my friends on the internet. And y'all get the best version of me every single time. And um if this is just how I want to be, and this is how I want to keep it for the rest of my life. This is Pacifica water bounce booster serum i usually add this in with my moisturizer it's supposed to help keep the moisture in your skin as you guys know i have really really dry skin so i try to get like as many products as i can that says it helps with keeping moisture so will i be rejoining the holidays of course of course i will I don't know when. I, I can't necessarily say it's going to be next year. I really hope the next time that I see my relatives is not because of something bad. But I can't say that it's going to be next year. I can't say it's going to be the year after that. As a matter of fact, I'm already planning to like for Thanksgiving next year. I want to go on a vacation. I want to go to like Jamaica or Mexico or something like that. And then even next year like if i'm like have a significant other next year maybe i'll spend the holidays with that person depending on how long we've been together i would say at least we had to be at least together 90 days for me to spend a holiday with you if i ain't been with you for at least 90 days we ain't spending no holiday together you ever earned the holiday version of me because i'm very festive (laughs) but we'll see um and this is in no way to bash my my relatives or this is not a malicious video. This is not a video to make anyone feel bad or make anyone look bad. But I'm just speaking from my experience. And what my experience is, I had an amazing time with this being my very first Thanksgiving that I did not spend with my relatives. I really did. And I don't regret not being with them this year at all. I don't regret it. So we're going to put on a little bio oil. And the reason why we're using bio oil, because bio oil is supposed to be like really good for like scars and stuff. And y'all know I have 
acne scars boots is this another oil i'm gonna try that i've seen it's really expensive though but i'm going to buy it um that's supposed to be really really good excuse me for acne acne scars i'm going to get it within the next couple of weeks because i really really want to try it because if i can avoid getting like the laser surgery done to repair to repair my skin then I will <laughs> because I really don't want to have to go through that if I don't have to but I want some baby smooth skin so if I have to that's what I gotta zuck that's what I gotta zuck all right so y'all know that this Providence Beauty Rewind is like one of my favorite oils because why it has black seed oil and they said black seed oil cures everything but death I don't know how true that statement is but we love it really just looking forward to the next chapter of my life and just seeing like where i'm going to be 90 days from now where i'm going to be 120 days from now where i'm going to be this time next year and just like really getting to know myself outside of the identity i placed in myself with my relatives this is the Valjean Labs Overnight Repair Oil. But we will have more conversations like this because like I told you guys, I'm slowly changing this channel into a glow up channel, which fits right in with the hair and the skin. But we're gonna have more things that I'm including into this channel. A lot more discussions, a lot more opportunities for us to figure us figure ourselves out and figure out how we can glow up mentally physically spiritually financially and then you guys will actually see me transform because the richie you see here today i'm not going to be the same richie next year personality wise i'm probably going to be the same because i love my personality i really love my personality i really like me but like physically and like my situation is going to be different I, I have no choice but to make it different because I can't continue living this way if that makes sense like I'm not saying I have a bad life but I know I'm capable of more and when you're capable of more and you're not going for more you're being disrespectful I'm just letting you know you're being disrespectful and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our cream this is the Egyptian cream. You know I love it. So you guys, I'm going to put on this cream. And I'm going to wish you guys a fair night. Um, be prepared. Be prepared for more videos like this. I hope you loved it. Because I did. I really loved making this video for you guys. So, peace out, baby.